English Tests Unveiled, TOEFL vs. IELTS Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into the world of English proficiency tests. Specifically, we're going to discuss the TOEFL and IELTS exams. These two are major players in the realm of English testing, but which one is right for you? Let's explore the key differences. TOEFL, or the Test of English as a Foreign Language, is primarily an American test, developed by Educational Testing Service, ETS. It is widely recognized in the USA and other countries. IELTS, on the other hand, stands for International English Language Testing System. It's a British test developed in partnership between the British Council, IDP, IELTS Australia, and Cambridge Assessment English. It is recognized widely in the UK, Australia, Canada, and other countries. TOEFL is computer-based, known as the TOEFL IBT. It emphasizes integrated skills, meaning you might be asked to read a passage, listen to a lecture, and then speak or write in response. IELTS offers both a paper-based and computer-based version. IELTS focuses on real-life situations, so its tasks might feel more like genuine interactions. In TOEFL, you'll receive a score between 0 and 30 for each of the four sections, with a total score ranging from 0 to 120. IELTS uses a band scoring system, from 0 to 9, for each of the four sections. Your overall band score is an average of the four. For TOEFL, the speaking section involves speaking into a microphone, and responses are evaluated by multiple raters. In IELTS, you'll have a face-to-face -face interview with a trained examiner. This can make it feel more like a natural conversation for some test takers. Which test is right for you? It depends on your goals. If you're aiming for admission to universities in the USA, TOEFL might be preferred. For universities in the UK, Australia, or Canada, IELTS might be more appropriate. Always check the requirements of the specific institution you're applying to. Both the TOEFL and IELTS are excellent tests of English proficiency. Your choice should be based on where you're applying, your comfort with the test format, and your personal strengths. Remember, practice is key. Good luck on your English learning journey. And we hope this video has shed some light on the path you should take.